welcome back to another hair tutorial and review here on my channel putting up with the pompons and if you are new to our channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can be up to date on all of our videos please come and join the family we would love to have you if you are a returning subscriber hey bestie how you doing sis hope you are being safe and blessed as always so in this tutorial we're going to be talking about this crochet wig which i know i love my crochet wigs so in this one i was sent here from braid queens and we are going to be talking the tea to let you know if this is a good buy a you need to make or a goodbye don't even bother with your time <laughs> all right let's get into it first starting off with the supplies you are going to need a crochet braid wig cap as well as a crochet needle don't worry if you don't have one when you purchase this hair in the link provided below it comes with one and then the hair of course is from braids queen and they are on instagram they hit me up and wanted me to try out these beautiful blonde goddess locks that they provide but just take a look at this hair take a moment to just breathe it in like the color the ombre everything about it gorgeous stunning i love how good these locks look You are also going to need a mannequin head, a wig head, and I'm just going to place my wig cap on there. As you can see, I already have my mannequin head labeled from front to rear. I took my measurements and put them on there. You do not have to do this. It's not necessary, but I'm a perfectionist, so I do. I'm pinning it down so I, because I don't want the cap to start slipping and sliding as I'm per putting my locks on there so as I crochet it I finally figured out a method to my madness I go in with one round around the perimeter so we're doing one single row around the perimeter and I try to keep the locks about an inch apart from each other then once we complete that first round around the entire perimeter of that wig cap we're gonna go again and do a second round going but this time we're going to do it an inch above the previous locks that we just installed and I'm also going to place that second row in between where the second row of locks are. So how we have like two uh, locks sitting at the second row, well that row above it, we're going to place that lock in between those two so it's going to create like this layering, cascading movement moment or whatever with our crochet wig. So we have this fullness and we're filling it in as much as possible. Once I get to the center of the wig cap, pretty much the crown of your head, we're going to increase the distance of our locks from one inch apart from each other to probably about an inch and a half away from each other. So I kind of try to do like finger distance in case you're not very good with measurements. So for my two, my one inch apart, I try to do like two of my fingers. So my index finger and my middle finger apart. And for my inch and a half, I do three fingers. So my index, middle finger and my ring finger apart, just to kind of give some preference. I like to put the wig into a ponytail before I apply it to my hair. It just makes it a lot easier when applying this crochet wig, especially when it's a lot of hair like this one. So I keep it in a ponytail as I place it on there, try to find my placement where I find it the most comfortable. And then we're going to go into a head wrap tutorial, one of my favorite go-to head wraps. I'm just adjusting the crochet wig, playing around with it with different looks to try to see how and what I prefer to wear this wig like. Of course, with my crochet wigs, there's many ways you can wear them. And I also have a tutorial on how to style your crochet wig in case you need any helpful hints 
and tips on how to style your crochet wig so i try putting it in a bun putting it in a ponytail half up half down and just like wearing a head wrap you can also wear this with headbands and since headbands are kind of flourishing and becoming very popular right now because of headband wigs those are so easy to come by so if i don't feel like tussling with a head wrap i will definitely grab a headband for a quicker styling and do a quick half up and half down So this is the final look for this unit. Um, for right now, I have it in a half up, half down. I try putting it all up in a ponytail a lot of hair and I try putting it up in a bun it just looks really really bushy uh, I really really love the color the blonde is what really like made me want to do a crochet wig because all of my other ones are like black and brown one B you know two four whatever I don't have like a blonde nor do I have a burgundy I want to do a burgundy one next but this blonde one like really kind of scared me because I was just like I don't know if this is giving me what I thought I was supposed to be getting um, to talk about the hair the hair came from braid queens they sent me this hair to review for them um i did a another review on some locks that they sent me and i loved those past locks first getting them first out the package um taking them out open them up super soft there's no like funky odor to them sometimes like hair that i get um can have like an odor to them and i have to kind of like clean them or spray them down um they're really really soft they look really cute like just sitting here in the packet they sent me a total of six packs of uh, or bundles, packs, whatever. They sent me six of these bundles. Um, and each bundle had a pretty decent amount. I really, really loved how much they put into a pack. Like a lot of times, a pack that I pick up out of my beauty supply store is like 12 locks or 12 braids. So we have 24 locks in one pack. That's literally like double what I would get it going to my beauty supply store. This uh, look took a took five and or yeah five and a half um packets now that i see how it looks i feel like i definitely could have just did before i feel like four would have been enough i would have concentrated more you know just hanging on to my outsides and like just place a few in the middle just for placement um not for fullness because the outside is definitely giving me the fullness that i need so decent length Super light, super like cute. Absolutely in love with the color. I feel like my wig is just a little too full to my taste. If you like the fullness of this, by all means, like use the five and a half packs. But for me, I feel like four packs, four and a half would have definitely been enough to create a good crochet wig where I can style it in multiple ways. Always to your desirability, you can customize it and fit it for you. So that's what I really, really love about these. And then it's so freaking easy. Like literally takes me 30 minutes to make this. The link will be down in the description bar for you guys to purchase these locks. If you want to uh, try out these gorgeous locks or any of their locks, they also have wigs, braided wigs too, um, which is why they are called the Braid Queens. They have braided wigs as well. I'm hoping I get to review those as well for you on my channel because I've always been kind of curious about braid wigs. Thank you guys for joining us on another hair tutorial slash review and review. Hair tutorial and review here on my channel, putting up with pom-poms. I greatly appreciate y'all if you really liked this look and you want to see more crochet wigs on my channel, don't forget to like this video. It definitely helps me, lets me know what you guys want to see more on my channel so I can bring more of that content. So we will see y'all on a, another one. Please be blessed and be safe.